Hey guys, welcome back to Ladies First and today I'll be sharing about my first love. My first love is definitely rain. No. <laughs> I mean jokes aside, uh, when I first fell, I thought that I fell in love was when I was in secondary 2. So I was 14. And uh, I don't want to say the guy's name because of ego. <laughs> I met him six years ago. And uh, my first love is still my current love. <laughs> my first love was when I was in secondary three, so I think I was 15 then. Right, was it 15? We were in a relationship for five years actually, and there was some part that was an on and off, but yeah, he was definitely my first love and he taught me about love. Fun fact, my first love is not my first boyfriend. My first love was actually when I was 19. I know a lot of people had their first love when they were like 14, 15, but mine was pretty late, but still, it was a very special feeling. I was 14 and we were together for almost 10 years. So how we met was, um, I was singing, I used to do nights, so I was um, singing at a restaurant bar and then he was on a holiday here in Singapore uh, with a group of Singaporean uh, mutual there was one mutual friend, and that's how we met. We were classmates in year one, but we became closer shortly after I broke up with my first boyfriend. I mean, looking back, it's definitely puppy love, but at that point of time, it's like my whole world. I think it was like a puppy love at the same time. But also, the fact that it was a puppy love, but my first true, or my first like really love love kind of thing. I've loved this person for six years. Tell us a happy memory you guys shared. Um, I just remember being happy. But I can't remember all the small details. Oh, I think he'll walk me to school. So I think it's pretty sweet. Our happiest memory together was... Uh, we would go to the gym together. I don't know how to pick just one, but I guess when um, he visits, because he's not from here. Best memory of each other, I think, when we were crossing the road, then he hold my hand. <laughs> that was like the cutest thing. Yes, he'll be my last. He cheated on me. <laughs> what happened? Ah, uh, really? Ah, <laughs> we quarrelled a lot. We fought a lot. So, in the end, it was a little bit too tiring for the both of us. So we decided to call it quit. And I remember like crying so badly. We were both from very very different backgrounds. So he is African American and I'm Chinese. His main worry in the beginning was that my parents would not accept him and his parents would also not accept me. He cheated on me countless of times but I forgave him so the very last time um, I just said bye. <laughs> I had to like move all of my stuff out of his home so he wasn't putting much effort so it Kind of, we drifted apart and I'm like, okay, I can't take this bad attitude anymore. So I'm like, bye. For a period of time, I felt like I was alone. Like, I, I just felt like being alone all the time. But luckily, I had my friends. I was very heartbroken for a long period of time. It took me about two years to get over him. I was sad, but it was a lonely sad. It wasn't the fact that I regretted that decision. I have this theory, right, that girls get over guys pretty fast. But it hurts a lot at first. And guys are like the opposite. They don't feel anything, then after like one month later, they start to like reminisce. Funny thing, he actually texted me um, after we broke up, like a few years after. Yeah, but I would say we are in good terms now because we are all adults and we can accept that now. How is long distance for you? Well, long distance is very hard. Um, it's hard especially in the beginning, uh, beginning stages because you have to work on the communication part. How people receive communication is very different also. So how I would receive something and how he would receive something um, is, 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 is different. Any words you want to say? What? <laughs> what would I want to say to him? I don't know. What would you say to your ex? Thank you. <laughs> no. Thank you for treating me well and not well. And <laughs> I think through you, I value. Um, I learn how to appreciate myself and stand up for myself. I guess 
I'm happy that you've moved on Even though you cheated on me with that girl But I'm happy too I'm happier Alright, thank you so much for watching If you like the content Please comment down below what other topics you would like to see And don't forget to subscribe And click here to watch our latest video Bye! So my first love was when I was... Oh wait, how do I have a first love? <laughs> <laughs>